If you like this video, why not subscribe? Okay, we've got 10 bucks to spend on movie stuff. Uh, let's do it. First thing I want to talk about is just uh, some organizational things. Uh, these are some small boxes from Dollar Tree. They are two for a dollar. So you get both of these for a buck. And uh, all they are is just some small, clear uh, storage boxes. They come in uh, red, blue, and green, I believe. I got the, the blue ones, I guess, because I feel like that's a more masculine color. I don't know. Uh, but they have these nice uh, clasps on the side and they open up and you can store uh, various things in them. Now, normally uh, I've been using these boxes. If you remember, these were the two for a dollar cotton swab boxes uh, that I would just take the labels off of and the swabs out of and store my microphones in. Um, I'm also using currently this red camera box. There's some very small point and shoot cameras like so for my microphones. Um, actually, this was my backup mic and this is the main mic, the one I'm wearing right now. Uh, but I think that uh, these boxes are better. They're a little more durable. They uh, are clear so you can see what's in them and they've got these nice claspy things on the side. So I think I'm going to get rid of these boxes. These were pretty, really cheap. I mean, these boxes are cheap too, but I think this is a pretty good substitute. You can store all kinds of small items in these, uh, as you can see. And, oh, now it's not working. There we go. So now I've got uh, storage for my microphone. I can see what it is, and it's uh, a little bigger than this. So there's a little more space for my mic to breathe. And uh, there you go. I think these are great little storage uh, solutions for your camera stuff or sound stuff or whatever. And we also have this version, which is a sandwich uh, box. And it's the same basic idea. Um, I'm just using it for the storage of larger things. Here we have the uh, USB computer lights that I've been messing with uh, for car lighting. I'm just storing them right in here. This is the same idea. I got these side clasps. It's got kind of a fairly decent size. And oh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, gasket in here. This would make you think that it uh, could be waterproof. Uh, so I actually did some tests on this one. I put it in the sink and uh, found out it actually wasn't waterproof or at least it might be water resistant because that gasket is there and you do press it down on top and you do fold these latches in. Uh, but this material is pretty flimsy so when I squeezed it underwater of course the material gave forcing air out and then when I released it it sucked water in. So I wouldn't recommend putting these underwater, but they might be water resistant, moisture resistant, uh, which isn't a bad thing either. Uh, especially since you probably don't want, you know, water condensing uh, inside here, you know, and forming on the top and ruining your, your lighting or audio stuff or whatever. So, but again, these are a dollar. These are two for a dollar. Some of you may remember a while back that I had something similar to this. This was a USB car charger. It fits into your uh, cigarette lighter uh, in your car and then it gives you a USB port and a little red LED to tell you that it's active. I had one of these before that I would mentioned, uh, but they actually had two USB ports on it. However, I noticed that when I plug this in um, that one of the USB ports wouldn't work. So this is actually a better design. Maybe they realize, hey, one of these USB ports don't work when I plug this into my car lighter. So I'm just going to take one of the ports off and give them a single port, which uh, again, I use uh, for car lighting or whatever you need to charge your phone or whatever. This is only a dollar at Dollar Tree. And again, I think this has been redesigned a little better. So you might want to pick one of these up. Plus they're also available in black. Now, much more stylish than white. All right, and finally we've got this little item here. This is, uh, I think it's called a Grip It. And what it is is a tablet holder uh, for your iPad or Android tablet, Nexus, whatever. Um, and it's got a tripod thread on the bottom. So the idea is that uh, if any of you are using your tablet as a monitor for your camera, I know the Canons are able to use Android tablets, for example, as external monitors. This is one way to mount it. And DJ over at DSLR Film Noob uh, mentioned this a while ago, saying they were like $12, $13 on eBay. And I actually found this on Amazon for seven. Now, of course, uh, so it also qualifies for super saver shipping, uh, so you have to be have to have like $25 worth of stuff. But if you need something like this, that's a pretty good deal, I think, since the price has dropped even more so. Now I have a tablet to uh, demonstrate this on, so let's see. I was going to get my phone here. Let me put in the password. Um, as I thought, hey, this might be a good way to hold your iPhone if you're going to use it on a tripod. If you're going to use the camera as a video camera, 
this is one way to hold it uh, and then be able to mount it right there on your tripod or other uh, device your rig or whatever I mean however I notice is you can kind of see right there the uh, that's actually the tip of the spring right here so that doesn't quite work it kind of looks like a you know first person shooter <laughs> sort of thing um, I mean you can get rid of it if you move it this way but you know then you're you only have two points of contact so I don't really think it works that well for that um, it'll totally work if you reverse your phone and put it in this way however now your phone is angled upward and you I mean you can still compose things you just have this whole configuration directly in the way of your monitor so that might be a problem but it, it is an idea and again if you have, it's really made for a tablet anyway so if you have a tablet and you're using it on your Canon camera uh, as an external monitor this is one way to hold it it's not that expensive it's the grip it it's uh, seven dollars oh and it comes with a nice stylish case right here that you can put your grip it inside and carry it around properly so you're just not throwing it in your gear bag you can actually carry it like that nifty all right so that's our show for this month we've got the uh, storage solutions all both of these found at dollar tree one dollar one dollar we've got the usb car charger another dollar at dollar tree and we've got the grip it uh, tablet holder seven dollars on amazon so we stayed right on budget all of these are a total of ten dollars not including shipping for this of course and uh, if you'd like to see your uh, idea, or if you have an idea you'd like to see featured on the $10 budget, please send it to me at thefrugalfilmmaker at gmail.com or leave a comment below. And if I'm able to use your idea on the show, I will give you a shout out sending people to whatever you would like, uh, whether it's blog, Twitter feed, whatever, YouTube channel, uh, as a token of my gratitude for contributing to the show. We'll see you next time.